Jeremy Buckingham, would you like to come and talk to us? Thank you very much, Jeremy. Thank you. A bit further back, that's the spot. This way. How am I now? Okay, great. Well, what a magnificent spot. First of all, I mean, this is truly one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. So uh, I'd just like to say that at the very beginning. And also acknowledge the traditional owners, Mayor Mitchell, the councillors, uh, uh, Will and Brett for organising the day, and all of you for turning up. Uh, a magnificent day, but it's great to see so many people, young uh, especially and old, and all of you people. Um, I'd also like at the outset to congratulate you on becoming the first community I know of in the world to entirely lock the gate, say no to coal seam gas and declare yourselves a coal seam gas free. So a round of applause for just doing that. Well, that is an absolute achievement. And um, they say uh, from little things, big things come. And I think uh, there will be uh, a very, very, very powerful message from uh, the efforts you've made. And uh, um, uh, I'm Jeremy Buckingham. I'm a, a Greens MP in the Upper House. I was elected about 18 months ago. Uh, I was given the portfolios of mining and coal seam gas. And when I was given that portfolio, I thought, coal seam gas, how big a deal could it possibly be? Well, what I've learned is that this is one of the biggest industries on earth, one of the biggest threats to our land, our water, uh, our communities that we have ever faced. And how do I know that? Well, I've just recently returned from the United States. I thought, uh, if I'm going to make uh, decisions, if I'm going to uh, create policy, if I'm going to talk to communities, it's best to go to the United States to see what a mature coal seam gas industry looks like. And there's two words, there's, there's only two words, it's a complete disaster on every level. This industry, where I saw it in Wyoming, Texas, uh, Pennsylvania came in, destroyed communities, destroyed environments and moved on. The industry is not something like you can argue about the benefits of coal mining that have, that have, uh, that have, um, that have uh, put us in good stead for generations uh, and other extractive industries. But when you look at coal seam gas, it only lasts at the very latest for 20 years. And what I saw in Pennsylvania... Uh, and, and New York, upstate New York, it is directly applicable to this spot, the drinking water catchments. This is why this campaign is so important, because what I saw in the United States were thousands of gas wells dotted across the landscape, all connected by power lines, by pipelines, by cleared vegetation, roads, huge ponds of polluted uh, produced water, work camps, uh, an industrialised landscape, and it just defies common sense that any community, that any government would do that in an area as special as this upon which so many people rely. In the United States, they're having exactly the same campaign right now in New York. And I'd encourage you, as a community, to write to the Governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, and talk to them and, and raise your issues with them and talk to some of those campaigners because they are campaigning right now to save their, what they call their watersheds from coal seam gas. So uh, uh, it's absolutely fundamental, this campaign, to protect our water upon which so many people rely. And uh, it's a, a complete disappointment, I think, in the government, this one, the previous one, the federal ones, that they're allowing this to happen uh, because they promised so much. They said they'd get the balance right, but what they're doing is green-lighting this industry. Uh, Apex Energy have said they plan to produce 20% of Sydney's gas from these petroleum exploration areas, all the way from here back to the Illawarra. Now, Will has said 150. That is very, very, very conservative. We are talking about thousands of gas wells, an industrialised landscape, billions of litres of toxic water, uh, and as I've said before, it defies common sense. The government is not listening to you. That is the bad news. The government 
uh, led by uh, the Minister, Chris Harcher, for Energy and Resources, wants this industry to roll out. Their regulatory response, what's called the Strategic Regional Land Use Plan, does not deal with these areas. They've created it, and it's to deal with the, sort of the, the conflict in the agricultural areas. It does not deal with the drinking water catchments. Their aquifer interference policy does nothing. It is a policy that mining and gas companies can consider and ignore, and it does nothing to add any new protection. The Minister is routinely meeting with these companies. They're rolling out a huge PR campaign across the state telling us if we don't have gas, we'll run, coal seam gas, we'll run out of gas. It's complete rubbish. We've got enough gas in, in Victoria, in the Cooper Basin, to uh, put us in good stead for hundreds of years while we generate, uh, while we move to generating our electricity from uh, solar. That's what we should, that's what we should be doing. So, uh, the, the, the good news is, as has been said, there's a community response from here in Natai to Lismore to Lightning Ridge, people all over the state, wherever this industry has popped up, they've said no. But this is truly one of the most powerful statements you could make. A whole community coming together, putting the signs up, saying we'll determine what happens here and how it happens, and uh, making that case. And I, the reason I, uh, I was so keen to get here, I got a little bit lost, I've got to say. I had a little bit of a tour of the, the back country up the, from behind there, so I apologise for being late. But it's fundamental to this campaign. If we're going to protect our water, that's what we've got to protect. So uh, congr I congratulate you all for being so organised. Uh, I can understand why you live here and why you're concerned. It's one, truly one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. So I congratulate you once again. Uh, well done, Natai. Let's see it roll out across this area because the government is truly focused on getting it, the industry established here because they think because there's no one in these special catch these special areas, well, it, 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 there will be no resistance. Well, you're proof that they're wrong. You're proof that the community's got the common sense to protect their own water. So congratulations and well done, all of you. Thank you.